Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to change the HEPA filter in your Tesla vehicle. So for this example, it is a Tesla Model Y. So the first thing we're doing is opening up the front trunk, and then we're gonna snap off this back covering piece. It has all these little clips in it around the outside. You can just pull this piece off and then it should come off of this area. And then we have this right here. This is where the HEPA filter is located. It's under this. We have 10 screws around the perimeter of this that you can find. You pull back this tab here and you'll see screws on the other side of that. And then also you can pull back. This frunk area is pretty flexible to get to these screws that are under that lip. And I took a picture here of the drill bit needed to take out these 10 screws. It's a T15. It's got kind of that star shape to the end of it. This is what we're gonna use to get those 10 screws out. As you can see, as we fold back this piece, we can get access to these screws. There's five going across the top area, and then there's also five going across the bottom. Although it's a little bit easier to get these ones that are on the top because this flap is really easy to fold back. Whereas these ones in the front here, they're underneath this little lip. Fortunately, this front area is reasonably flexible, so you can pull it back a bit. And again, pulling this back to get access to those screws and they're evenly spaced out. They're reasonably easy to get access to once you pull back the lip of the front. This screw on the end here is probably the toughest one to get access to because it's a little bit more rigid on the front on this end as opposed to pulling back the middle area. But you should be able to slide your drill around there to get access to that one as well. And now with those 10 screws out of there, we can pop this piece right out. And with that piece out, that's going to get us access to the HEPA filter that's right here. And the HEPA filter should pop out rather easily. Once you have the cover off, you can just take each of these HEPA filter panels out of there. The part of the HEPA filter that's in the back is a little bit tighter because it has a gasket that kind of goes around the outside of this piece. And it makes it a little bit tighter when you're pushing that in as opposed to the HEPA filter that's just sitting on top. But these also come out relatively easily. You can grab these little black grates right here with your fingers if you need some extra leverage to pull these out. And I did a little Google search, how often you should replace the HEPA filters in your Tesla Model Y. And it recommends doing this once maybe about every three years or so, but it's gonna depend on your climate, how often you drive things such as that. So once we have those out, we can now put the new HEPA filters back in. Make sure you're putting them in in the correct direction. So you can kind of just drop them into place. And then these gaskets that go around the outside, they'll push against the side walls of this plastic piece in here, but just push down on them to make sure you get a nice tight seal. And these rubber seals around the edge here are gonna give it a nice seal around there as we push it into place. And make sure each of the corners are going down and pushing those into place and then kind of work your way around the perimeter to make sure that it's secured all the way down. And then the top part of the HEPA filter here can just slide right into place on top of the other part that we had already slid in. So those should just drop right into place and set in there just like that. So now at this point, we're gonna put that cover back on along with the 10 screws around the perimeter. And putting this plastic piece back on, there's a little pin right here that you can line up that corner with, drop that right into place. And then obviously just the rest of the area is gonna line up with those screw holes. Now we have all 10 screws in place so this piece is secured down. And now the last thing to do is to take this top plastic piece and snap it into place. So this has those white pins all the way around. Just line it up and when you push it down it should make a clicking noise when those pins are locking into place. The ones on the outside we found are a little bit easier to push in than the ones in the middle area. Those can be a little bit trickier especially because there's a little bit of flex in the front. So when you're trying to get those clips in it can be a bit challenging. So I wouldn't worry too much if maybe a couple of them you don't get that full click sound when you close the frunk the gasket of it should secure this area down as well and that might even aid in pushing these pins into place that are right here in the front again we had a little bit of issue getting these all the way in whereas the ones around the outside in the back pushed in rather easily but once you get those pins set in place you can shut your frunk and you're good to go with your new hepa filter so i hope this video was helpful i appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the youtube channel and i'll see you back here next time